Today on GarageBand and Beyond, I'm going to teach you guys how to tune one single note of a vocal track using the auto tuner in GarageBand. Let's get to it. So this is a project that I'm working on for a client. If you don't know, I do mix, master, I can play on songs for you guys. Check out my website, garagebandandbeyond.com. Uh, there's a mixing inquiries page there with all the details on my mixing process. Anyway, we're looking for this one single note. So I'm just gonna let you hear it. We are looking specifically for this note um, and let's just push play. Right? So the words, I think it's trees, and I'll just solo it. By the trees. Okay, now I'll mute it so you can hear what the band's doing. Right? So basically what's going on with this one single note right here is that it is a G. Now I figured that out by just playing on my piano. What we want it to be is an F sharp. Okay, so that is a simple half step shift, which is really easy in this case. So what we wanna do is come down to the editor here. Uh, let's unmute it so we can actually see it. And we're looking just for this blip right here. So let's just isolate that out just like this. All right, so I'm gonna take it, Command T, cut it, come to the end, I'm gonna cut it, okay? So now I have this single note isolated and it's ready to be tuned. So what I'm gonna do is come over to the lower left-hand corner to the transpose slider. Um, just so you do know, this works in half steps, okay? So going to negative one, because that's all we want, G to F sharp is in half step. So now let's just hear it. You hear that? Okay, let's solo it so you can actually hear it. Okay, so I'll turn this off now, just so you can hear what it was before. Sheltered by the trees. Right? Of course, you do want to make sure that you have the follow tempo and pitch selected because otherwise it doesn't work. She sheltered by the trees. Pretty easy, you guys. Now, I will tell you that the auto tuner is actually not on on this entire track. As you can see here, there is no actual pitch correction, it's been turned off. I have been able to isolate that one note and tune it manually using that transpose fader. Again, that transpose fader works in half steps. If you don't know what the difference between a half step and a whole step, if you're a guitar player, let's say uh, fret three to four, that's a half step. Frets three to five, that's a whole step. Super easy. If you're looking at a piano, um, you know all the black keys or whatever, those are all half steps. Actually, every move from key to key is a half step, right? So um, that that's pretty basic. Uh, I think that's pretty much it, you guys. If you have any questions, any comments, please leave them here below. Find me on Instagram at GarageBand and beyond because I'm trying to grow that. And please hit the subscribe button because I'm trying to get more subscribers. I've been here for nine years on Friday, you guys. Nine years anniversary for GarageBand and beyond on this coming Friday. We're going to do something fun on that day, I hope. I think we're going to do something fun. <laughs> All right, you guys, have a great day. Peace.